Well, good evening, Friday Harbor, and other people that might be listening out there. This is Ken with Friday Harbor Tiny TV, and uh, we're about to start the game here. Uh, they just introduced the seniors, and this is homecoming senior night here in Friday Harbor, and we're playing Coopville tonight, and uh, first thing I want to do is, uh, while we've got a minute here, to go through our sponsors, which, let me get... Uh, that together here for you. Yeah. 
And our sponsors uh, are, in, with the exception of the first one, in no particular order. Uh, Wolverine Sports on Friday Harbor Time TV is presented by Brown's Home Center, the island's only full-service building supply center. Also by uh, Banner Bank. I'm getting rid of some things here. By Banner Bank, Blade Resurrection Sharpening Service, Purple and Gold Booster Club, Farmers Insurance and the Tammy Cotton Agency, American Legion, Friday Harbor Dentistry, Lemon Computers, Geyser Appliance Repair, uh, Haley's Bar and Grill, Friday Harbor Electric, San Juan Surveying, Miller Drywall, Pacific Rim Insulation, Star Excavation and Septic, Island Petroleum Services, Tony's Terrific Carpet Care, and Blue Water Bar and Grill. Thanks so much to our sponsors. If you stop by their places of business, please thank them for sponsoring these games. We wouldn't be doing this without them. I'm going to get on the camera here and uh, hold on one second. While we get the national anthem here. Lily is singing. Lily is singing. I had no idea. I beg your pardon, Lily. And there you have it. Wow. That was impressive. Beautiful job, Lee. Thank you. Wow, great comeback. I'm trying to uh, 
for the Coopville fans, I'm trying to get the uh, name of the mascot there. I've forgotten what it is. Freddie Harbor receives the ball and the kickoff. Putting it on the 26 yard line. Wolves. Okay, there we go. So it's Friday Harbor Wolverines against the Coopville Wolves tonight. Looks like I'm going to have to move the camera over. I'm going to end up looking at this post here. How far over it is. Cody Anderson advancing the ball to the 20-yard line. Oh, good. I can see it. So we're on about the, uh, the second and eight on the 20-yard line. Connor Hayes. Connor Herring's on the carry. What's that one? Met on the 23-yard line. No headway on that. Fourth and seven now. Uh, the scoreboard is not keeping up with the play. I'm going to have to keep track of it myself here. So uh, still on the 20-yard line. Fourth down. Oh, that was caught in the end zone, it looks like. Dylan Robinson's pass to Graham Leary. Good for a touchdown. Classic play, worked well. And Friday Harbor gets on the scoreboard first. For those of you just joining us, we are in the first quarter of play here in Friday Harbor. Friday Harbor Wolverines uh, up against the Coopville Wolves. Going for the extra point here. And it looks good to me. That brings it to seven points for Friday Harbor. Let's go, one. And there. Three. Four. Can't hear you, ladies. Five. I do not have a uh, roster for Coopville. Kind of just going to have to depend on them upstairs in the booth to uh, for that information. Still fighting for control of that ball. See where the rest put it. It it might be they're they're going to put it down to right where we saw Atlanta. It looks like. Looks like about the uh, twenty-eight yard line, maybe. They're saying thirty-six. So uh, okay. Hard to tell from here with all the personnel in the way, but. And. 
Looks like that was probably enough for a first down. So Coopville first down and, and second down seven. So, but got her hands up, tackle. on the 34 yard line. Check that, 44. 44, that's what I thought. <laughs> that makes more sense to me. For 33 for the Lieutenant Rays. Third down, three yards to go for the Coopville Wolves. Little of uh, what Mike Martin calls yellow laundry out there on the field. And they're going to move uh, Coopville back to the. Hmm. Well, yeah, they moved it back five yards, so they're at the 37, supposed to be at the 37 yard line. It's about right to me. Play action. No motion in the backfield. It started to, it looks like. Okay, we pushed him back, pushed him back. They move them back behind the line of scrimmage, so it's going to be fourth and uh, a bunch. Mm. <clears throat> and about the 35 yard line. Bob Wilson and John Bolt. They're here every home game for you, moving the chains. Well, thank you guys. So it's fourth and 11. So that is, I had a hard time following that one myself. The reception, Friday Harbor takes over the ball on the uh, 45, on their own 45 yard line. Oh, guess not. I, I, I thought it was a I thought it was an interception sorry so the yard it is is Coopville has the ball on the 45 on Freddie Harbor's uh, 45 yard line right now and that's first and ten so no no game there they might have even lost something let's see what happens Jack Mason ties up the line. Yeah, it looks like they lost a yard. It's second and 11. So that was a pretty decent gain for him. Managed to mash it down at about the 43 yard line, 42 yard line. Flags on the play. Senior Jack Mason with a 
quarterbacks back. Sending Hayden Dinas down. Not sure what it was. Fourth and 15. Connor. People at home on a big screen TV, you might have seen that better than I did. Okay, they canceled each other out, so okay, let's see what happens. Flag on the play is illegal formation. Fourth down. It's fourth and 15 now. That's what they're showing anyway. The ball looks like it's in the about the same position, so that's it about the uh, see what happened to that ball. Looks like it got pushed back pretty far. Well, Friday Harbor's going to take over the ball. Um, see where they put it. Left by senior Jack Mason in the backfield. They're putting the ball right on the 40 yard line. Friday Hubbard takes over the ball, first and 10 on the 40 yard line of uh, Coopville. Fred Herbert trying to move the ball. Senior Connor Haynes again with the ball. Down by Gerald Kehu to the counter brace. Ball's on the 31 yard line. Third down. Senior Dylan Hoverson hands off to. That should give him a first and ten, and it does. Ball is uh, down about the 20 yard line. Which uh, is going to put Friday Harbor into scoring range, depending. And that worked pretty well. Your officials for tonight's game are referee Gordon Kutstra, umpire John Carney, line judge Carl Brothers, and linesman Michael Brooks. Huh. 
flags on that. Three minutes and 35 seconds to go, and the uh, clock has stopped, and uh, 30, 3.35 to go in, uh, in the first quarter. Looks good to me. So that's seven more points. That puts it to 14 for Friday Harbor. The Friday Harbor Wolverines at 14 and uh, Coopville. Uh, <laughs> girls uh, doing their push-ups. I think it might have some uh, beams in the way here, but I was going to swing it around here and see if we could get a shot of the band over here playing. So it's going to be uh, first down for uh, the Coopville Wolves. The ball is on the 42-yard uh, line. Actually, it looks closer to the 43-yard line to me, but. Nope. Here we go. Now there was that was an interception for sure. Preston uh, captures that ball away from the uh, or away from the wolves. I guess you heard that maybe. Ball on the 30. Approximately 35 yard line. You see what happens here. Move the ball about probably a good six yards or seven yards. Thank you, ladies. Maybe not that far. Okay, they placed the ball uh, at the uh, about the 42 yard line there, 41 yard line. Cutting on the carry for that one. And that uh, they they moved the ball far enough. First and ten, Friday Harbor. Into 
the Wolves territory on the 48 yard line. Play action. Well, tried to get around the end, didn't quite make it. That puts them back to the uh, 45 yard line of their own territory for Friday Harbor. The ball is on their 45 yard line now. Loss of 10 yards. So the second and 20. Almost intercepted, but it was almost caught at the same time. Could have been could have gone either way there, but it just went dead. Dylan Roberson there's one out to Nathan Posen So it's third and 20, ball on the 45 yard line, uh, Friday Harbor's own 45 yard line. Try another pass, that one's, a, that was caught. Got a reception going there. All the way to the end zone, Friday Harbor scores. Kind of looks like when I'm talking that I might be a little bit loud. Eh, I guess it's okay. Move it down a little bit. Victor Valles with the extra bite. Good. Sorry about that. It was uh, Ready, ladies, and one. Two, another score there, so that brings it three, to um, four, twenty four, nothing. Five, five, six, seven. Girls doing their seven push-ups. Friday Harbor kicking off. Ball tended to stay pretty low over the ground there, it looked like. One minute and 20 seconds, 27 seconds left in the first quarter. Ball is on the 35 yard line, it looks like. First attempt to look counter on the 35. And the ball carrier for the Coopville Wolves brought it out to about the 43 yard line, 42 yard line. That makes it uh, second and two for him to go.
Dylan Roberson with the tackle. Bring down Brandon Damien. For O'Connor. Clock's going to wind down here. I don't know if they're going to get a playoff or not. Probably. probably they're probably going to get it off. So just a few seconds left till it, the horn blows. And you get pushed back to about the 40-yard line. Malikiano Adams lost the ball for a second, but he recovered for the Braves. Second. Puts the ball on the 40 from O'Connor. And they won't get this play off. Clock's running down. That does look very first quarter. So, at the end of the first quarter, it is the score is 21 to nothing. 21-0. Right over our Wolf, Wolverines over the Coopville Wolves. And we're going to speak to our sponsors here. Thank them so much for uh, for these sponsoring these games. And so for our 21-22 football season, Wolverine Sports and Friday Harper County TV is presented by Browns Home Center, Allen's only full-service building supply center. Banner Bank, Blade Resurrection Sharpening Service, Purple and Gold Booster Club. Farmers Insurance and the Tammy Cotton Agency, American Legion, Friday Harbor Dentistry, Lemon Computers, Geyser Appliance Repair, Haley's Barn Grill, Friday Harbor Electric, San Juan Surveying, Miller Drywall, Pacific Rim Installation, Star Excavation and Septic, Island Petroleum Services, Tony's Terrific Carpet Care, and Blue Water Barn Grill. Well, Friday Harbor pretty much dominated the first half of this game, and uh, our first quarter of this game, and we'll see what they're doing uh, next. Ball is... Uh, on about the, looks like about the 40. They're saying, look, it's on the 40 yard line, actually. Freddie Harbour covers the ball on a loose snap. Senior Jack Mason with the recovery from the backfield to the. The first down for the Wolverines. The ball will be they managed to. Uh, the 25. <laughs> That's going to be uh, first and 10 again for the Friday Harbor Wolverines. The ball is on the. Um, looks like about the 25 yard line. Run makes a run for the corner. Connor Haynes, Connor Haynes on the carry for that. Senior Dylan Robinson. Good for a Friday Harbor first down. Cody Anderson with the carry. Falls on about the eight yard line. Second five for Freddie Hart. Second to four. Here we go, 
No reception on that. Makes it second and four, continues to be second and four. Make it third and four for uh, Friday Harbor. They're on the 14 yard line now. Definitely in scoring range. We'll see what happens. Play action. Carter Harbor runs the ball. Robertson to senior Connor Haynes for the touchdown. Into the end zone. And that brings the score to uh, 33 for Friday Harbor. Kick for the extra point. There goes the ball. Victor Looked good. Vasquez makes the extra point. So that brings the score to uh, what, 28 nothing. You know what and we go. One, two, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven. for a second and fell back on top to recover. <laughs> First and 10 from the counter on the 35. Score is 28 to zero. Um, Friday Harbor Wolverines against the Coopville Wolves here in Friday Harbor. This is a homecoming and senior night here in Friday Harbor. Uh, hope you're enjoying this at home. Okay, and so the ball is on the Incomplete second put it. Coopville on their own 35 yard line. Tried to get out from behind the uh, 
Freddie Harper line coming Freddie in on him. Defense. Third and 10 on the 35. That uh, kept uh, Coopville at bay there on now it's third and 10 on the 35 yard line still. Flag come out on that one. I saw it. I thought I saw it. Maybe I didn't. Maybe the ball went back. Um, no, the ball went back. I wonder what happened there. Why? You know that that somehow that ball ended up. It it was apparently knocked back that far. I'm not sure who did that, but it obviously got knocked back. So, Coopville in their own 22. Trying to make some headway. Coopville's a... Coopville, Coopville has been making gains out there um, on a fairly regular basis. It's uh, you just haven't been able to uh, complete a drive. Ball on the 38-yard line. First and ten for Fred Harper. Second and two for Friday Harbor. They were on the uh, about the 30 yard line there. Dylan Roberson holds on to the ball for that one. I'm going to take this opportunity to thank the cheer coaches, Stacy Rude, Ida Carl Tagan. The third and fourth for uh, for Friday Harbor. Um, on the Coop in Coopville territory, Coopville uh, real estate there, at the 30 yard line. 8.50 to go in the half. First half. Chilly out here this evening. People bundling up. Sun tried to come out later today. Didn't quite make it. You know, five minutes worth or something. Cloud cover out there tonight, but uh, no rain at the moment. Harvard runs the ball into the end zone again. Might be. This line. With the reception. Makes it down to about the six yard line. Good for a Friday. Harvard first down. On the, on about the five or six yard line there. Can't see it very well, maybe. Actually, it looks shy of that. They're saying six-yard line, so okay. I'll buy that. So first and goal to go. <laughs> I 
And that brings it to 34 nothing. Fred Ever scores. See how they handle the extra points here. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. So it's the Braves then, right? LaConnor Bright, LaConnor Braves, right? Okay. My mistake. We're <laughs> I didn't know that. I thought we were playing Coopville tonight. So it would be the Connor, I believe it's the Connor Braves. Must have been, I must be a week behind here or something. My apologies. So, Wolverine Sports and Friday Harbor Tiny TV is presented by Brown's Home Center, the Island of Lakes Full Service Building Supply Center. Um, Banner Bank, Blade Resurrection Sharpening Service, F Purple and Gold Booster Club, Farmers Insurance, and the Tammy Cotton Agency, American Legion. Ball is off and run. Well, okay, yeah. My apologies. I'm not. I'm not the person you want calling a game. Mike is better at this. I'm just about anybody would be. My apologies for not uh, keeping track of who I, I thought it was. We were playing Coopville tonight, but I guess not. So uh, Friday Harbor Dentistry, Lemon Computers, Kaiser Appliance Repair, Haley's Bar and Grill, Friday Harbor Electric, San Juan Surveying, Miller Drywall, Pacific Rim Installation, Star Excavation and Septic, Island Petroleum Services. Tony's Terrific Carpet Care, Blue Water Bar and Grill. Thank you so much, sponsors. And for those people that are at, in the corner, my sincere apologies. I thought we were playing Coopville tonight. And instead, it's the corner, and I think it's the corner Braves. I believe it's the Braves. If I remember right. That's what I get for not having a roster in front of me. I can't, uh, couldn't read it anyway. I gotta, can't read that and watch the game at the same time, unfortunately, here by myself. And uh, so, okay. Second and ten on the thirty-five. Be sure to announce the homecoming break for winners at halftime. Yeah. Ball popped up in the air. Looks like Friday Harbor came up with it at the end there. Michael Soto comes down with it. Marco Soto. Looks like the ball was uh, tended to be tended to be thrown, probably, and looked like, and uh, uh, it was uh, blocked. And in the blocking process, it popped up in the air, and Friday Harbor ended up with the ball. First and ten for Friday Harbor on the twenty-seven. Twenty-eight yard line, play action. Riley McCutcheon with the carry. I'm going to take a second to thank everybody who came over from the Connor for the game. 
So Friday Harbor uh, takes over the ball and is in this up to the uh, second down now. 35 to nothing over the uh, LaConnor Braves. Again, my sincere apologies for that. That's all my fault. I, I, I thought we were playing the Coopville tonight, but Mm, not much going on there. Ball is on about the 26 or 27 yard line. 26 yard line. So it's third and 10, Friday Arbor. Well into uh, the Connor territory. Backfield in motion. Very hard we're moving the ball. McCutcheon carrying the ball. Ball's on the 19 yard line. Fourth and two. Fourth and two to go for Friday Harbor. Um, they got a ways to go to get it into the end zone. So you're going to have to move it. Pushed back, looks like. And. Um, O'Connor will take over. The Braves will take over uh, the ball uh, deep in their own territory. And uh, looks like they're changing personnel. The Braves are putting, uh, bringing off a few and bringing up and putting on a few. Looks like three people just came back onto the field there. Hmm. Takes possession now at the 19 yard line. Okay, first and 10, LaConnor on the 20 yard line. I wasn't looking across the field or anything, I'm not sure. I'm guessing that it was probably uh, LaConnor that called the timeout. We'll take this opportunity to uh, take another uh, roll by our sponsors here. Wolverine Sports on Friday Harbor County TV is presented by Brown's Home Center, the island's only full-service building supply center. Um, also by Blue Water Bar and Grill, Tony's Terrific Carpet Care, Island Petroleum Services, uh, Star Excavation Septic, Pacific Rim Insulation, Miller Drywall, San Juan Surveying, Friday Harbor Electric, Haley's Bar and Grill, Geyser Appliance and Repair, Lemon Computers, Friday Harbor Dentistry, back to play action here. The ball has flipped up in the air again, recovered by Friday Harbor. Pass nearly intercepted by Connor Haynes. Uh, Friday Harbor Dentistry, American the Legion, Connor. Farmers Insurance, and the Tammy Cotton Agency, Purple and Gold Booster Club, Sharpening uh, Blade Resurrection Take Sharpening down, Service, and Banner Bank. Captain Fila Andrews, Lily Turnbow, <laughs> Captain Jasmine McEwen. Paige Carlton Cleaver, Paloma Waldron, Madison Bueller, Michaela Nibbler. Ball on the 20 yard line. 
Second and ten for, for the Braves. Looks like he's trying to pass the ball. We oh, ended up here. Okay, there it is. I need a bigger <laughs> monitor. <laughs> Sometimes I can't see what's going on in the monitor. So. Second 10 on the 19. Ball on the 19 yard line now. They're showing 20, but and two to go. It's two, but it's second and ten right now. Connor looks like they might have moved the ball a little bit. Isaac Kitchell with the run stop by what appeared to be Julio Ball basically went nowhere on that. So Friday Harbor uh, defensive unit comes off and the offense comes on. And they take over the ball on the 19 yard line. First and 10 Friday Harbor. Um, on the, they're saying the 21 yard line now. Hard to tell from here. Anyways, uh, 21, um, 21 yard line and Friday Harbor Pretty pretty far into uh, um, Braves territory. See how much real estate they can make up here in the first first down. Connor Haynes takes the ball, and that looks like it brought it down to about the. Uh, About halfway between there, so yeah, probably 15 yard line. Second and four. First and goal. If they push through. Yep, the TD. Connor Haynes with the carry into the end zone. Three minutes and 50 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Well, Looks like they didn't quite make it. I thought he went into the, the end zone. But. Just a couple of yards to go here. See what happens. Did he get in? Haynes made it in for the touchdown. So yes, it did, and uh, so Friday Harbor up to 41, uh, 41 points now. Going for the extra point. 
Kick looks pretty good. Victor Vasquez makes that makes it 42 to nothing. Try to Another seven, ladies. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Nice work, ladies. Just seven. I know you. Some of you thought you had to make up one for the last time. I kind of understand that. So with three minutes and 22 seconds left to go in the third quarter, uh, Friday Harbor is at 42, and the uh, LaConnor Braves are at zero. So uh, the Braves bring out the ball out to the, David looks like Arias, about the, the looks like about the 35 yard line. Stopping with Connor at the 36. 36 yard line. Okay, I'll buy that. Went back to pass, but uh, decided it, it wasn't working and decided to run the ball. That's uh, they gained a little bit there up to the 41 yard line now. Short pass, no good. Attempted pass to Charles Edwards, incomplete. Third and five on the so the Connors at uh, third and five now on the 41 yard line. You're going to put it at about the 52 yard line. Uh, no, pardon me. <laughs> there is no 52 yard line. Uh, how about the 49 or 48 yard line? A little bit of a hurry up offense there. One of those things where the receivers went out to get the ball, but uh, the Friday Harbor defense uh, just uh, 
waddled all in on into them there. And ball remains in position. Second and nine, ball in the 47 yard line. That's what they're saying. It looks more like the 40, yeah, 47. 40, that's about right, 47 yard line. Back to pass. Reception, uh, interception. Pass intercepted by Pierce Klein. Pierce Klein interception of that pass and uh, Ryder Harbor will take over the ball on about the uh, 48 yard line, I think. Make it the See where they put it. Good job, Pierce. <laughs> okay, the ball is at about the 45 yard line. Right on the 45 yard line. If right ever takes over the ball, first and 10 on the 45 yard line and their own 45. Dylan Roberson to hand off to Colin Haynes. Connor Haynes. Pretty decent gain. That'll uh, bring it to uh, see what they see where they put it. Oh. So they're walking it off. Freddie Harbor gets. Uh, uh, penalty, and they're back to the 35, 36-yard line, yeah. Okay. So Fred Heber going to have their work cut them out, cut out for them. It's first and 20. Moving the ball. Got some forward there. Probably it might have brought it back pretty Connor close to Hayes where it was. To the 48. 44, excuse me. Clock running down. 18 seconds left in in the in the first half of the game. Or in the third quarter, pardon me. No, half the game, yeah. Gonna do it for your second quarter. And there's the uh, horn. Score is 42 to zero. Freddie Harper Wolverines over the LaConnor Braves. Folks like to take a minute just to recognize our LaConnor Braves having you know some pretty good breaks and having uh, moving the ball okay on occasion. They got made some uh, headway in various plays, but. Uh, it seems that they just have been having a tough time completing those plays. We had an overall winner on the uh, homecoming parade pool. It was the uh, seniors this year, the class of 2022. And the great award goes to the ninth graders, class of 2025. All right. And the great award. Congratulations. As the girls uh, go out and take the field here. All right, we're 
ready for the cheerleaders' performance tonight. We just wanted to take a second and say uh, it's senior night, so if you see a football player or a cheerleader senior, make sure you give them an extra high five. The cheerleaders have worked really hard on this. Unfortunately, it's wet, so we cannot do our stunts. So this routine is cut in half, but we're really proud of them. We also wanted to dedicate tonight's performance to one of our own that we lost this year, Miss Vita White. Thanks everybody for coming. So your 21, 22, 2021 and 2022 uh, season cheerleaders out on the field for a performance. I'm going to turn down my microphone here and uh, bring up the sound for the ladies here.
This isn't very much fun for these ladies. They worked really, really hard. We're going to try this one more time from the top. Good work, ladies. <laughs> we were just doing uh, audio in various venues. There were times where <laughs> we got feedback. I like that, and uh, I was going to have a t-shirt made that, because everybody looks back at the sound guy and when that happens, and I was going to get a t-shirt at one time that said, you know, turn around on the back of it and says, yeah, I heard it too. Careful. Wish we had a color person here to do a halftime show for you. <laughs> so we're at the half here in Friday Harbor with the score 42 to nothing against the um, the Connor Braves whom I was calling the Coopville uh, Wolves earlier. 
Um, that's what I get for not having a roster. The ladies are uh, back here underneath with me right now. They're looking to get some flowers out and other things out for their seniors, people who are um, for the captain and for the uh, cheerleading advisor. Getting back to play action here in the second half of the game. Friday Harbor Wolverines uh, against the uh, O'Connor Braves. And as you may have seen a minute ago, the score is 42 to nothing. Right, Arbor team needing to warm. Actually, all the team, all the all the players are going to need to warm up here this evening. It's getting a little chilly out here tonight, about 48 degrees here in Friday Harbor.
Lots of people out here tonight. Braving the elements. And we're going to run through our list of sponsors uh, another time here. Many thanks to these people. We wouldn't be doing this without them. Wolverine Sports on Friday Harbor Tiny TV is presented by Brown's Home Center. Now it's only a full service building supply center. Also, the Blue Water Bar and Grill, Tony's Terrific Carpet Care, Island Petroleum Services, Star Excavation and Septic, Pacific Rim Insulation, Miller Drywall, San Juan Surveying, Friday Harbor Electric, Haley's Bar and Grill, Geyser Appliance Repair, Lemon Computers, Friday Harbor Dentistry, American Legion, Farmer, Farmers Insurance and the Tammy Cotton Agency, Purple and Gold Booster Club, Blade Resurrection Sharpening Service, and Banner Bank. Thanks so much for... Uh, tuning in to this game tonight and if you see or visit the stores and businesses of these sponsors be sure and tell them how much you appreciate their support for these uh, for these games next game will be away game um, let me take a look and see where it's going to be Now that's the reason I got it wrong because <laughs> Coopville High School will be next up uh, last in the series of regular games. And that will be a away game for Friday Harbor at Coopville. Game time, 4 p.m. And we'll be there live. Red Harbor brings the ball back to the um, oh, we'll call it the their own 48 yard line about 46 yard line maybe
Got first and 10 for the Wolverines. 43. 40. Makes that the 43, 42 yard line, almost 43 yard line. Play action, Freddie Harper. Moving the ball into there, into, uh, looks like I'm moving the ball into Coopville territory. Somebody I called over the, I guess that was the, like a hurry up offense thing happened there. And they were just. And they moved the ball again. So for that. Right ever not taking any breaks here. Not, they're just moving the ball. All the way to the end zone on that one. They will kick the ball for the extra point. Look good. That was good. Good for the extra point. That brings the score to 49. For a to nothing. And the girls, the girls are going to do their push ups. Two, three, three, five, six. They're time out or an injury, and they're going to change the change up here. I'm not sure who the injured player was, but uh, that's what they called. As you can see, the girls have got their uh, their jackets on. It is chilly here. Perfect for football, though. That's Cody Anderson. He came up with the ball. Like another timeout type of thing here. So your sponsor list for the 21-22 season uh, Friday Harbor football. Wolverine Sports and Friday Harbor Tiny TV is presented by Brown's Home Center, the Allen's only full service building supply center. 
And uh, Banner Bank, Blade Resurrection Sharpening Service, Purple and Gold Booster Club, Farmers Insurance and the Tammy Cod Agency, American Legion, Friday Harbor Dentistry, Lemon Computers, Geyser Appliance Repair, Haley's Bar and Grill, Friday Harbor Electric, San Juan Surveying, Miller Drywall, Pacific Rim Insulation, Star Excavation and Septic, Island Petroleum Service, Tony's Terrific Carpet Care, and Blue Water Bar and Grill. Play action on the field. O'Connor uh, defending. Ryder Harbor moving the ball. <clears throat> that brings up second and ten. Ball is on there about the uh, uh, 35 yard line. Mm, yeah, it's just a little, little this side of the 35-yard line, so 37-yard line of um, Coopville, Coopville Real Estate, invaded by the Wolverines. Ball on the 34 year line. Fourth and two. And he goes out of bounds. He pushes him out of bounds at about the uh, 20 yard line. Maybe even less than that. So the score is now that they scored since Friday Harbor scored. It went further than I thought. I so made score 56 to nothing, and the extra point brings it to 56 to nothing. Victor 
So nothing seems to be getting in the way of Friday Harbor tonight. on about the 41 yard line. First and 10 for McConnor. Incomplete pass. They'll still be second and 10 then, or still be on the 41 yard line, second and 10 for, for the Braves. Another pass. So that will bring up uh, the Braves to the uh, about their own 48-yard line, 49-yard line, third and three. So that was a good pass, completed pass, and uh, gave him a shot at getting the ball out of their own territory. Fourth and three on the 49 yard line. And they may have, they may have gotten it far enough to get a first down. Looks like they did. So they're at the 40 yard line of Friday Harbor's 40 yard line. And uh, first and 10, LaConnor. I think they might have moved the ball a little bit, but they ran them out, ran it out of bounds. Quarterback 
So we're second and eight, and we got uh, that ball is on the 38 yard line. Connor attempting to run the ball. Uh, still at about the 38 yard line. Third and six. It's actually, it's a little, a little closer in, 36 yard line. Make it the 36 yard line. Moved it a couple of yards. <clears throat> Isaac Kitchen with the carry brought down by Dylan Robertson for Freddie Herbert's defense. So they moved the ball far enough. Now it's going to be first and ten again for the Braves. First and 10 for McConnor. Ball on the 26-yard line. Ball, as you heard, on the 26-yard line. You might have heard that. Pass intended for Brandon Daly to take the play. Second and 10. Incomplete pass, so the ball's still at the 26-yard line. Uh, about 35 seconds left in the third quarter. We might get it off. Incomplete. incomplete pass and clock running down to the uh, end of the third quarter. Three, two, one. It is 56 to nothing here. We go as we go into the fourth quarter. The Connor should have possession of the ball going into the third quarter. Going into the third quarter. Still quite a few fans here, considering the chilly conditions and such. Mark 
Play for it. Ball down at about the 24, 25 yard line. Connor trying anything to make it make something happen. Right the Hever comes up to the ball at the 20, 25 yard line. Not a lot on that one. No gain. Back to the motion. Right here, we're trying to move the ball on the ground. Not getting very far with it. Still not much going on there, no gain. Fourth and 10. I would guess they're gonna punt or something. Either that or try a really long pass. To see what happens. Yeah. And they did manage to move that ball right out, stepped it, stepping right out there. No flags on the play. So Friday Harbor goes to first and 10 again. This time on about the 40, about the, four, about the 48 yard line, 47 yard line. I make that closer to 48, but you know, scoreboard says 47. No, they moved to 48. <clears throat> Back for the throw and uh, the Braves make it out to about the pass to Brandon Damien's complete. 45, 40, 45-yard line. line right now. And so the second for three. Second and second three to go for uh, for LeConnor. Braves moving the ball. Got, uh, 
Looked like it made a, made a couple. We're at the 40, looks like the 42 yard line. Look, Connor, first and 10 on the 42 yard line in Friday Harbor territory. Pushing the ball back to this line, stopping Feliciano Adams Cole. the 45 yard line. So second and 12 for the Braves. Ball's on the 40 yard line. So it's third and nine. Completed. I think. Three minutes and 41 seconds, and the clock is running. Quarterback throws the ball. Incomplete. Incomplete pass. Um, oh, gosh. They're moving these stands up here on me. I don't know what they're, I don't know how to deal with this. Um, hold on, it looks like I'm gonna have to uh, abandon the play here for a few minutes while the cheerleaders are moving these stands. Maintain the signal here. You have no idea what's going to happen. <laughs> so I have to abandon the camera here. <laughs> Something fell. Yes. 
We have a few minutes left to go in this game. Trying to move some equipment here. Hoping we don't lose the signal. Um, I'm gonna have to move the camera here because they're moving these cheerleader stands up out of the way here, so I'm gonna have to move the camera. Clock is still moving. Got uh, one minute left to go in the play in this game. Score is 56 to nothing. Um, Friday Harbor over Friday Harbor Wolverines over the uh, uh, LaConnor Braves. Just uh, not LaConnor's night, night tonight. First and ten, balls on the 41 yard line, 18 seconds of 17, 16, 15. And if they're going to let this ball lie as it is. Okay, so that's the end for this game, for this homecoming game here in Friday Harbor. Um, once again, if I can move the camera over here out of their way a little ways, uh, see if I can. And we'll run through our sponsors one more time. As we end this game, once again, the score is uh, 
All this brought to you by Wolverine, uh, by uh, uh, Brown's Home Center again. And um, we thank all of our sponsors for their support. Without them, we wouldn't be here doing this. And uh, so if you stop by their businesses, please, please be uh, uh, kind to them. <laughs> Give them uh, a, a nod, a heads up, or whatever, or a thumbs up, or uh, whatever you want uh, to congratulate them for supporting this, uh, this uh, broadcast. Not only this one, but we will we'll be... Unfortunately, I was thinking it was Coopfield here tonight, but it wasn't. It was LaConnor Brave again. I apologize to the LaConnor people for that. Um, I'm somehow that got goofed up, and next week is going to be Coopville at La Coop, at Coopville. And uh, I was thinking it was Coopville tonight, so I guess it wasn't. It's uh, LaConnor Brave tonight, and they go down to Friday Harbor, 56 to nothing. And uh, that'll end it for us here Friday uh, on Friday Harbor on Friday. Uh, homecoming here in Friday Harbor tonight. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next week at Coopville. My name's Ken. I'm uh, a little, little bit of everything tonight. <laughs> call, playing the call, doing a little bit of color, what I, what I can. Um, and... Uh, all this, all this, all this stuff here that I'm doing, <laughs> operating the camera, looking at the sponsor list, looking, making t sure the signal is there, etc., etc., etc. Trying to do everything at once. So, um, glad you could participate. Hope you have a great evening. Like I said, we'll see you next week at Coopville. Thanks again for watching. <laughs>